Will my Louisiana legal malpractice case go to trial? Attorney Tommy Pittenger explains. Every four years, the American Bar Association Standing Committee on Lawyers Professional Liability produces a report on trends in legal malpractice claims based on data from malpractice insurance companies. The most recent trends include a rising number of legal malpractice claims related to family law, probate law, collection, and bankruptcy law, and business transactions or commercial law. However, most malpractice claims were filed against personal injury attorneys who represent plaintiffs. Real estate law was the leading claims category for the previous four years, but ranked second in the most recent report, which reflects a more stable market. The prevalence of estate, trust, and probate malpractice claims will likely continue to grow as the baby boomer generation passes away and passes on its wealth. Legal malpractice claims are becoming more successful. Claims that ended up getting no payout decreased dramatically. In addition, legal malpractice insurer payouts were up across all monetary amount categories. Payments between $50,000 and $200,000 nearly doubled. Payments between $500,000 and $1 million rose by nearly five times. And payments between $1 million and $2 million increased from 49 to 444. Payments of more than $2 million more than tripled. There are beginning to be more legal malpractice claims against large corporate law firms. These firms, compared to smaller firms and solo practitioners, saw the largest increase in claims. Tommy Pittenger has more than 20 years of experience practicing law, and he is passionate about helping clients who have been improperly represented by their lawyer.